Hello. All right. I'm trying to figure out. All right. So let's see if anybody hops in and made this super pretty on a tile. I This is my first time working on a tile. So um, it was really fun. So I thought I'd pop on a live. And hey, Terry, how are you? And um, show you guys, it was so fun. Ugh, I have that. The mixative is kind of sticky. <laughs> All right. Let's see, I'm gonna set this one aside right here and grab a new one. All right, so. Just gonna clean this with some alcohol. Hi, Joyful Creations. Hello, Ideas 10. I embossed them with an image. <gasps> Ooh. Do you add resin to yours, Terry? Because I'm thinking that it would look really pretty with resin on it. Hi, Rainy. It, it, it was a lot of fun. I like it kind of a lot better than Yupo paper. And it's so much cheaper than Yupo paper, I'm guessing. I haven't priced out each sheet of Yupo paper, but these are only like seven cents I think I paid. So way, way cheap. <laughs> All right, so I'm not the best with alcohol inks. That one recent alcohol ink background that I did, um, I I think I just got lucky. <laughs> so we'll see how it works. And I will be using my um, hair dryer. So if you are wearing headphones, just know that I will be turning it off and on. Um, I do, I'm not probably gonna tell you every single time I'm turning it off and on because it kind of goes a little bit fast. So I'm using, today I'm using Bria Reese alcohol inks. And I tried to do a monochrome with this set. It didn't turn out the greatest, so I decided to introduce a little bit of blue, the Prussian blue. So in the set I showed in my haul recently is fog, slate, and black. Um, the black is very, very concentrated. I don't know if I needed to shake it up or or what. Okay, no one's I spray, I varnish on them, but you're right, the resin would be great. Oh, okay. So I got a new webcam. Can you guys tell the difference? You guys see? Tiles are my favorite surface to work on and I've tried most everything and I do resin mine and it's an incredible difference. Yeah, cause can't you use these for coasters and stuff? I think that would be really nice. Okay. I'm gonna get comfortable here. All right, so I cleaned it off with some alcohol and Hello, Trudy. How are you? Once you use resin, you can unlike sprays. <laughs> That's what I do with my tiles. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool. So let's try and make one that kind of matches this because I do have some resin. Um, I just don't like to mix it and open them without deciding to use the whole bottle or the containers. Um, but we won't be doing any resin today. I'm definitely not set up for resin. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I'm gonna try this Prussian blue and I'm gonna give it a shake. I don't think you have to shake them, but I'm going to. With sprays, you can't, the heat of the coffee 
from sweating drinks. We'll go through the spray sealers. Oh, oh, okay. I get what you mean now. So you can't, you have to resin it if you want to use as a coaster. You can't just use a heat, like a spray sealer. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Um, let's try. Hmm. And let's do a little bit of fog. Let's try to get a little bit of white space this time. All right, so I mixed together a little bit of blending solution. All it is is rubbing alcohol and uh, glycerin. So I'm just going to add a bunch. Whoops, sorry, I knocked the, I knocked the, uh, Mike, I hope that wasn't too loud for you. All right, turning on my heat, my hair dryer here. a bar resin like a countertop resin maybe hi Stacy how are you all right I'm going to want all of this to kind of blend nicely this is where I mess everything up but we'll see how it works oh, okay so kind of more like a heavy-duty Resin, not just an art resin. I gotcha. All right, I always forget. I need to work one side at a time, so. All right, then I'm going to add a little bit more fog. Just like, ah, it's way too much. Okay, I'm gonna uh, use my hair dryer. this side now and I'm going to introduce a little bit of the mixative gold mixative because why not and probably a little bit more color here we go here here because I want that blended out don't want it to be all dark there okay Oh, thank you, Terry. Oh no, is it flickering? That is unfortunate, okay. Let 
Let me see. Um, Cause it is a new webcam, so I'm hoping that it's not giving me issues. Um, all right, I'll have to figure out. I'll have to figure that out at a later time, but it, as long as it's not like continually flickering. Okay. A bit blurry. On my screen, it looks good. Um, I did figure out just really quickly before I turn on my heat tool or my hair dryer again. So when you have a webcam or you're streaming, you can set the bit rate of um, like your video quality and the person watching has to have that exact same or higher bit rate to watch it in good quality, if that makes sense. So if you're on uh, like out and about and watching just on, you know, your phone's uh, internet, it might not be as great as if you were at home on your home internet. Um, but yeah, anyways, all right, just thought I'd throw that out there. All right, so, hi Connie, how are you? Thanks for joining. I'm gonna try, I don't really wanna mess this up, but I'm gonna try to add a little bit of blue coming out this way because I really like that on this side. I think it looks really pretty. You guys think I should leave it or try to add a little bit more color on this side? It looks fine. You talking about the tile or the stream? You know, if I mess it up, I can always start over. So we're just going to go with it and ooh, see how it goes. <laughs> I'm nervous. All right. Let me add uh, the blue first. So I'm not even squeezing. I'm just waiting for it to kind of get to the edge of the, the tip of the bottle. And then I add whatever is coming out. All right. So I'm going to add a bunch on this side. And a little bit here. All right, here we go. add a little bit more here so that it blends out like it does over on that other side. Hi, Davida. How are you? Thanks for joining. Uh, what are you going to do with them when you're finished? So I'm thinking of adding resin to them and uh, using them as um, coasters, maybe. Um, we don't really use coasters that often, so I might give them to my mom. I know she uses them. Um, but yeah. The glycerin I got at Michael's in the uh, like the candy making section and where all the cake supplies are and stuff. Um, and it's this bottle here. Do you ever place some foil on there when inks are still tacky? Yes, I've done that in the past. Let me grab some of my Yupo paper. Um, alcohol ink. Sorry for my squeaky chair. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm. I don't know where my most recent one is. Hmm. I will definitely have to find that. Um, anyways, hi, Olga. How are you? All right, I'm still going to try to um, get it a little bit. I call it like a smoky look. It gets really blended out and it looks really like cool. Smoky is what comes to mind when I see that. All right, I think I'm going to add a little bit of, where is it, fog. So I'm going to just add, again, I'm just going to tip it and then wait till it comes out. Well, I don't think it's going to come out. There we go. Just a little bit and add some more alcohol. This is alcohol um, with the glycerin. All right. <laughs> it is Olga with a burnt dinner. All right. I am getting too much concentrated color here. I don't I don't want that. So not working out how I want it but I think we'll keep keep at it and see what happens all right let me add a little bit more blue here There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Sorry for the um, the hair dryer, but I probably pass out on stream if I <laughs> like was blowing um, on it. So I I personally don't like these very concentrated colors here. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to just stick a little bit of the alcohol on my finger and then kind of blot it, blot at it. And my finger here. Okay. That didn't work how I wanted it to. Hmm. Let's see. How can I fix this? Because I do like it a lot. Okay, with a Q-tip. Um, Stacy, I've tried both just regular alcohol and with glycerin, and to be honest, it's not really much 
of a difference. Um, yeah, so the glycerin, I mixed like maybe a drop or two in the bottle of alcohol just to kind of, it's, it's like a oil. So I think it helps just can help things glide around a little bit. So the alcohol blending solution has, um, let's see. So it has ethanol, glycol, ethers, and isopropanol. I don't know if glycol is just another term for like an oil-ish type of thing. I'm not sure, but um, I Googled how to make your own blending solution and that's what came up. So do you use alcohol blending solution or straight alcohol? So I was buying the alcohol blending solutions, but they are pretty pricey, uh, especially I live an hour away from Michael's or anywhere where I can use a coupon to get it. So I decided to make my own, which is alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, and the glycerin. All right. Let's see. How can I improve this do a little bit on this side and a little bit here I always forget I need to work one side at a time Blending solution. Oh, I heard to put that in alcohol to make it blending solution. Yes. All right. It's starting to look a little bit better. I'm going to work a little bit more on this side. So can you guys tell a difference in my webcam? I don't know if I asked that already. I can't remember. <laughs> I hope so. Because if it's not very noticeable, then I'm just going to take it back and use what I what I had. I mean, is it clear? Is it bright? I felt like the one before was a little bit dull and just not as much con contrast. No, my webcams. So I got a new webcam. Um Yeah, that's what I think, Terry. So, all right, I just wanted to ask you guys. Right, I'm gonna work on this side a little bit. I added a little bit too much there. to say I always see everything quite good but I would say colors are better okay winning solution so I will try doing that a couple drops in the bottle with it see what I like about playing around with the alcohol inks is it's kind of weird because I like 
the fact that I don't know what's going to happen. But then I also hate the fact that I don't know what's going to happen. So I don't have as much control kind of. Um, let's see. I lost all of the gold and more turned to like a brownish tone right here. All right, let's try breaking that up a little bit. I might regret this. Immediately regret. All right, let's see. We add some blue. Sorry if you guys can see my fat head. <laughs> All right. Man, I messed it up. All right, let's see if I do this. Let's see if I add a bunch here. Then we'll work that back to the middle and blend it out a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go this side, same thing. Add a bunch, work it to the middle. All right, I think I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> uh, but I find solution blowing and not fainting. I bought an air can. Oh, okay. For the regular ones and they fall to the bottom. I didn't find a solution for that except adding more metallic. Okay. All right, so let me see, how can I fix this now? Because although this one's pretty, it's not my favorite. Like, I want, I don't want just a piece with alcohol ink. I want something that looks like more of like an art piece with like a cool composition or something. And I find it very hard to do that with alcohol, ink, alcohol inks. And I don't know how other people do it. Because... Yeah, I don't know. All right. Do I want, let's do a little bit of fog. Just a little bit. Then I'll add a little bit more of the mix it is. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna fix it. All right. Hopefully. I know. I think I need a little bit more. This. So that it can get to the middle. and we'll do a little bit of fog here. Okay. I am definitely still learning. I don't think I'll ever 
figure out this medium, but it, I do like to play around with it. So <laughs> bear with me. can't is meant to clean oh okay let's see i'm gonna Words and fragile stuff. I probably have some, so try not to put a line. Drop. Okay. You know what I was thinking? I remember now. I'm going to take that off. And so a puddle. Hmm. Let's work on a, a whole new one. How about that? So I found with alcohol inks, uh, the look that I want, not many people show it on Instagram because they do, or I'm sorry, on YouTube at, for like free content. They have workshops and um, things like that, which I totally understand, um, but it's hard to find um, what I'm looking for as you know, for free. And it's not my favorite, favorite thing to do. So, um, I think I maybe eventually I'll pay for a workshop or a class online or something. Um, but even then I think it's still so unpredictable. I think you have to find your own, technique into doing it um, and what works for you rather than what works for somebody else. So, all right. Do I think you can troll it? It's like color purse you need to go with. Yeah. Love that look of not really knowing what's going to happen. All right. So let's do, so Lori, do you put two colors down or just one color? Because I'm thinking, should I change up the color? Maybe we'll do, no, I'll do the same so that I can try and make these into something. All right, a puddle, no line, a puddle. All right, and then around. Whoops. Look at that. Look at that. All right. So I definitely like that. So puddle. And then I remember, I forget who it was, but I definitely have to figure it out. Um, she had suggested to not directly put the heat tool or blower on top of the color, but put it onto the side. Um, I think this is a little bit slicker surface than Yupo paper, so it moves around a little bit faster. Um, but definitely worked. All right. So now I'm going to go on this side and move the gray to that side.
I like the tiny look, lots of colors, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's try a little bit of blue here. And then we'll bring in a little bit of the mixative. This one's definitely going to be my favorite. So thank you, Lori. Whoops, I didn't mean to add that last drop, but all right. We're learning together. Uh, I just ruined it. All right. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's break that up a little bit. Okay, I think I figured it out. So what I'm gonna do is erase this. Start with a clean slate. I think I figured it out. I'm not gonna add any gold because I don't like how it's turning out. So we're just gonna stick with the blue and the gray. So um, I'm gonna stick that. I'm gonna go around. I think that's how the lady did it. <clears throat> I'm gonna push this. I think I'm getting the hang of it. So we'll see. All right, this one I'm just gonna put on this side and we're going to blow it this way. Maybe I'm not getting the hang of it. <laughs> All right. About what, Terry? The me getting the hang of it. I'm talking about the alcohol inks. It's so relaxing. Uh, I always forget. It's so relaxing, but at the same time, so stressful to me because I want it to look a certain way, and I don't know how to get it that way. All right. 
pass through the ink stray very quickly. I want it to um, be a little bit more blended out on the sides here. So. All right. I'm not giving up, but I think I'm going to try something new. <laughs> All right, I thought I was getting the hang of it. Maybe, you know what, I actually like, let me put this on the side. Um, to be honest, I actually like, um, the Copic refills a little bit better. So, So what's everybody up to today? I know one of those um, one of those air guns. I definitely want one of those, but I it's not, this is not my main thing. I just like to kind of dabble in it a little bit. So spending that money is not my <laughs> it's not at the top of my list. Um, hi Bergen, Virgin. Hi, how are you? I hope I'm saying your name right. And thank you. Welcome to my channel. I don't do um, alcohol inks on uh, regularly, just kind of playing around. I'm more of like a mixed media person. So let's do a little bit of baby blossoms. I go back and forth. So I'm definitely very V. Okay. I'm definitely very uninspired with doing mixed media projects right now. So I'm trying something else at the moment. All right, let's do this. So we're gonna do, this is Baby Blossoms. And we're gonna go around. Maybe I should have just done one side. I think that's where I'm messing up. All the inks, all inks are a little different. Now we are really getting a variety out, out there. All right. sure what these little bubbles are but yeah I think I'm going to be done <laughs> I'm getting a little frustrated here um this is my first time playing on tiles so um that might be I don't know throwing me off a little bit the I normally do larger areas of Yupo paper so it's hard for me just to lay down a little bit of uh, alcohol ink. I'm um, so cool. First time to see it. I'm new to crafting and all of it. 
They are a little bit thinner, I think. Not as concentrated as the, like the black, this black um, on the first one that I did, I added just a little tiny drop and it was so concentrated, it would not move. I had to move it around with my finger even after adding a ton of alcohol on it. Um, but yeah, these are, let me share how many, um, see five, one, one point five, two and a half. I'm thinking maybe two, maybe that's what that means. I'm not exactly sure, but, um, they, you can get them as low as like three, three to five dollars. Um, Blick Arts has them all the time. Um, so, and they have so many different colors. I have, I don't color with alcohol markers, but, um, I have a lot of the refills. I'm going to just... I know it's kind of a waste of alcohol ink, but it is what it is. Well, that tinted that purple. So I guess just keep keep in mind. <laughs> um, maybe maybe I'll grab another. <laughs> Definitely, I will. I I love playing with it. Um, yeah well no I think it's coming off there we go I'm gonna leave the blue ones because I I want them to work so anyways <laughs> it is it for me it's just for fun although that one piece which I don't even know where I put it um I am planning on mounting it on some wood and adding resin to it because it just, I think I just got lucky with how gorgeous it turned out. Uh, and so, but other than that, it's strictly for fun. I don't really use the backgrounds for cards or much of anything, but I am working on a video for um, using up backgrounds because we played a lot with the Ken Oliver Color Burst Spray, or I always want to say sprays, Color Burst Powders, uh, the, now the infusions from Terry, and uh, alcohol ink backgrounds, um, watercolor backgrounds, stenciling backgrounds, so many different backgrounds, and so many have expressed that they need to figure out what to do with them. So um, I'm going to be working on a video to show just kind of some easy cards, mainly cards. I'm not going to really um, uh, do much of like art journaling or anything like that. All right. Haven't tried that brand or inkers. Everybody, have everybody else is out there <laughs> and there is a difference in them. Just a little bit though. Yeah, it's all pretty much the same, I think, just a tad bit different. Um, and I like these um, because there's so many different shades and tons, tons. But I do wanna thank you guys for stopping by. I do appreciate it. I am also working on getting uh, so I have set up Streamlabs. I think I figured it out. My husband is a network engineer, so he has put up a firewall um, within our network, and it was blocking Streamlabs. It's like a streaming software where you're able to add multiple um, inputs for video and audio and do fun things. Um so we figured that out. And so I have a face cam and then my desk cam and um, different things. So hopefully the next week I will, or maybe sometime this week, depends on what's going on with my kids at school. But yeah, so that should be fun. I think seeing a face, even though <laughs> I might look like a hot mess at times, um, 
He's smart small parts instead of the whole piece. Um, I think it'll be a little bit more personable seeing my face rather than just my desk and my hands. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, I want to thank you guys for stopping by and I am going to get going. Got to go to the post office, got some packages waiting for me. I'm excited. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. And if you are on the coast or in uh, the Bahamas, anywhere near the hurricane, praying for you guys. And I hope you guys are safe um, if you're watching later. Um, but anyways, all right. I will catch you guys later. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> all right. See you guys later. Bye.